Gentlemen, start your batteries. It is time for the South African EV Challenge 2016. Right now, let me introduce you one of the main organizers, Mr. Mark Shawman. So this year we formally decided to rename this event the South African Electric Vehicle Challenge. The reason we did this is because we want to make sure that we're not only impacting the kids of the Lofeld region of Southern Africa, but the whole of Southern Africa. And our goal, long-term goal, is to take the South African Electric Vehicle Challenge and develop it to an extent that we have a team of South African scholars that are able to compete with against an Australian team. That would be ideal. If we were competing internationally, we would then know that what we are doing is benchmarked against the best in the world. And that is our, our stated now long-term goal for this project. Now this is such an exciting race and it's so practical. Uh, the kids can see when they're in a the car, uh, the motor is running too fast and they have to reduce the motor. So that's where the science comes in or the maths comes in. And also in the steering systems, all the disciplines that's on, on a steering system, uh, to, to get the car smoothly around the corner, it's a trick. And that's a trick the kids need to find out. Here you can see several of the scholars involved in the pits as they do final arrangements and final settings on their vehicles ready for the one hour EV challenge. This is my fifth year of doing it and yeah, yeah. I think we were the first, the winners of the first competition ever. So yeah, hopefully we're going to win this time. Hold our heads up high. Yeah. And off they go. Heading off the Mabuza Strait, heading for a left into the Rotary Roundabout. Following the Rotary Roundabout, teams would be expected to climb the hill known as Classes Killer. Once they do Classes Killer, there's an opportunity to turn a right turn onto Lions Lane, where they could pick up a little bit of speed before they get to the very involved Coombs Corner, past the lap counters and back onto the main straight. This is a lap of Shawman Speedway. You'll see the teams very carefully trying to manage the battery life, trying to limit the involvement of the motor, trying to limit the stress on the motor, the stress on the batteries, ensuring that they last the full hour. It is, after all, an endurance challenge and not a speed challenge. A recent addition to the race have been some celebrity teams, both a gentleman's races team as well as a ladies' celebrity team. Working hard to extend the reach of this EV challenge and make more people aware of exactly what it is that the scholars are learning out of this opportunity to build, operate and race electric vehicles. And finally, you have the checkered flag. Many hours of preparation. Many components built into these vehicles. A total hour of concentration. And ladies and gentlemen, another successful South African EV challenge. Courtesy of Rotary. And a big thank you to all our sponsors. Your results for the 2016 South African EV Challenge. The overall winner, Imagine Scholars X Racer, Barberton Highs Nitro and Flamboyance Flash. The winner in Class B for most laps, Bergwams X Racer, Imagine Scholars Imagine Rover tying them. Second was Uplands the Ghost and third Valencia's Vava Voom. Class C most laps saw Flamboyance Viper, Uplands Short Circuit and Penryn coming in in third place with a Phoenix. Winner class D most laps was Feifster Bachboers with Blackbird, Diva Rockets Rocket Box, and Elenke Accountants in Summer Breeze coming in third. The best technical design was Penrose Phoenix. 
Best looking car was Flambo against Viper. Best team spirit, Cyril Clark, all teams. And best presentation was Bert Flam's Princess Sophia. So we are Lennis from Cyril Clark High School, which is in Matafin, near the Bombella Stadium. Well, we as Lennis from Cyril Clark, we entered the challenge called the EV Challenge, an electrical vehicle challenge, where we had to build an electric go-kart that uses batteries and motors. So the whole part of like the whole thing behind the whole event is like is that you have to find a team firstly like mainly like children who do like sciences and all those things because it requires a lot of science and math to build all these cars like in terms of the gear ratios and connecting everything uh, this is Cyril Clark secondary school uh, the learners in Matafen because the school is situated around Bombela Stadium in one farm area that is Mdluli Trust Farm and I'm so proud of my learners. This is our fourth year that we have entered into an EV challenge. And each year I don't have problem because the learners are always very passionate. They want to take part and are very motivated. 